Now, <laughs> this seems like a losing strategy. Insult the people you want to represent. So the matchup for Florida's hotly contested governor's race was set just 48 hours ago. And Democrat Charlie Crist is already writing off nearly 4 million Republican voters. Those who support the governor should stay with him and vote for him. And I don't want your vote. If you have that hate in your heart, keep it there. I want the vote of the people of Florida who care about our state. He is on the battlefield of hate. I am on the battlefield of love. And if he wants to run on hate and culture wars and dividing people and making people hate each other, that's his turf. It's not mine. I'm on a different plane. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis firing back. This is his fifth decade running for office. He's a chameleon, typical career politician. But you know, Tucker, people support me because I kept the state open and protected their jobs. Charlie Chris wanted it locked down. So that's not hate in their heart. They're just appreciative that they had a governor who was standing up for them. In this election, Charlie Chris is the beta O'Rourke of Florida. This nonsense that that Charlie Chris is going to win in Florida against DeSantis to me is nonsense. I'm going to say that. But uh, Charlie Crist, is, did he just have a deplorables moment? Uh, no question about it. If Charlie Crist is going to win by almost every poll, he's got to convince the Santos voters, the voters to come to him. It's like the Pirates, I say, the Pirates declaring they refuse to win the division. I refuse to beat teams that are better than me uh, by all costs. Pirates aren't good. Um, Thank you. So I, I, I don't want to wait for Hammer to is define it tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's baseball. It used to be good. Willie Stargell, um, uh, Manny Sanguian. Uh, and Roberto Clemente. Clemente. Uh, but but here, here's the, it's unbelievable that he would say something like this. Clearly, he wants to be the good guy, uh, Republican to replace Jeb Bush. But for he should, his approach should be this. I know you're voting for Ron DeSantis. I could do the same thing he can do, only yeah, I could do it X, Y, and Z. But he just did the biggest mistake that they did in 2016 and 2020. They vilified not Donald Trump. They vilified Donald Trump voters. That's what he just did yeah. in one day. He, in the first day he had the nomination, he alienated two-thirds so of the crazy. Republican Republican. Judge, base. you've run for office. Can you imagine ever saying something like this? Not in a million years. I wouldn't tell anybody I didn't want their vote. I would tell the devil I wanted his vote as long as he voted. Look, here, here's the problem. You've got the Democrat Party saying, we're going to unify everybody. Yeah. How do you unify people when they say, you're full of hate, you're no good, I don't want your vote, keep your vote, you pig. I mean, <laughs> this is what they're doing. And that's just stupid, because he's been a Democrat, he's been an independent, yes. and he's been a Republican. Yeah. I mean, he's schizo. I'm not sure who he hates or who he <laughs> wants to hate. But there's another piece to this, too. It's not just about this race. It's about the national race. It's about his trust trying to create a narrative that Ron DeSantis is one of the haters. He's doing the national, the Democrat National Committee's uh, work. And uh, in the end, you know, it's kind of like Jenny Durkin from Seattle. You know, uh, we got a summer of love. And in the end, she did a total reverse course because it doesn't work. Harold, the Democrats seem to be sweating DeSantis already, you know, before 2024. Uh, do they have reason to be concerned? Uh, probably, because he's polling high in some of the, the Republican uh, uh, polling uh, data around who, would, who people would want if Donald Trump doesn't run. Look, I, I would take a different approach than Charlie Chris. I, I think he probably <laughs> may, may have been up late the night before. I think Brian nailed it in saying, you know, you, Democrats in 16 and 20, we did, it, it, intentionally or not, attack the voters. You never attack voters. Voters always get it right, even if they don't vote for you. You've got to figure out how you get them to vote for you, not attack them for voting for someone else. I think what he said there at the end, uh, Chris, Charlie Chris, about he's about love and his campaign's going to be about inclusion. He should just apologize to voters. I hope I didn't see that. Maybe he did do that. And if he, did, no, if he didn't do I it, he should he apologize and say, I didn't mean it that way. What I meant to say was, I'm going to make Florida richer, safer, healthier, more secure with mm -hmm. my plan and right, lay out right, exactly right. the way Brian just, yeah. just laid it out. Crime should be big. He should, cry, he should be talking crime. He shouldn't be talking Yeah, Jesse else. Waters, but what Val do Dennings you is the think? former police chief. I'd be running around. Well, I call him Charlie Crispy. Seen his face. Yeah. I need some block. He's like dad. the tan dad. He is. It wasn't just this that he said everybody had hate in their hearts. He, he said, Joe Biden, I love him. And he said, thank God for Joe Biden. So he shot himself in the foot twice. And DeSantis is going to wrap those two gaffes around his burnt face. But the judge nailed it. He's not supposed to win. He cut mm -hmm. a deal with the White House. He had to run out the wingnut left winger in the primary. Then he gets in there. And he just goes scorched earth on DeSantis, builds up a big oppo file on the guy, 
and says nice things about Joe Biden, probably invites Joe Biden to Florida, yeah. right? And then he goes down like a kamikaze and he gets appointed to some place in the administration. That's the move. But DeSantis has to run up a big margin against him because he needs like a little political capital going nationally. So he'll have his work cut out for him because there'll be a lot of money coming in from out of state against him. Mm -hmm. But DeSantis will still do well. I mean, he's got a great record. He's got a, a sharp tongue and he's fearless. So. Really sharp. Tongue. Not too long ago, <laughs> when I was in... a pretty good line he said about Fauci. Not in, within this last year, I was in Florida and had, needed to go from one place to the next. So I, there was a taxi and the driver said, do you think Ron DeSantis will run for president? I said, I don't know. What do you think? And he said, I hope he doesn't because I don't want to lose my governor. Aww. Yes. And I thought, OK, a lot of that. they like him a lot. He's competent and a leader. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.